For this uh, video tutorial, we're going to have a relatively detailed look at the unsharp mask method of sharpening images in Photoshop. And we'll also have a look at uh, smart filters and maybe a few uh, tips and tricks uh, along the way. So to begin, the uh, the name unsharp mask actually comes from the old uh, darkroom days when uh, photographers would uh, take a blurry image or an unsharpened image and use that as a basis to uh, create a sharp, sharp copy. Just so we can see how uh, the unsharp mask works, I've gone ahead and created uh, an image with a dark gray and a light gray side by side. I'm going to go ahead and click on Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Control Plus to zoom in. And click on the space bar to pan and zoom. I'm just going to reset uh, the radius here. So uh, this, these are the two images. We have the edge right at the center. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the radius and note what happens. So Photoshop has determined the edge to be here, which is correct. And what it's done, it's gone ahead and darkened the uh, pixels on the edge of the dark color gray and lightened the uh, pixels on the edge of the light color gray. So essentially, it's increasing contrast. And this is what Unsharp Mask is doing, just simply increasing contrast and, and on the edges. I'm going to click Cancel and we'll go ahead and go to our image. I have this uh, Creative Commons image uh, of uh, the lovely Alicia Cuthbert and the first thing that we're going to do is apply a smart filter and you can do this very simply by going to filter convert for smart filters and we'll click OK and essentially we're doing this in order to be able to um, apply the uh, unsharp mask in a, in a non-destructive non-permanent way and usually you could uh, duplicate the layer but that does tend to um, add uh, image size or add size rather to your image file and this is really a much, uh, much more efficient method so I've gone ahead and converted this to a smart, uh, smart filter I'm going to go ahead and apply the unsharp mask filter sharpen Unsharp mask. And let's take a look at this dialog box. So we have the preview area with um, a plus and a minus, allowing you to increase or decrease the preview. I would keep this for 100%. So the first slider that we have is the amount slider, and it ranges from 1 to 500. And it determines the intensity of the sharpening effect. And the higher the amount, the lighter that the light pixels will be at the edge and the darker that the darker uh, pixels at the edge will be. Next we have the radius slider and that determines the number of pixels that will be sharpened on either side of the edge. And finally the threshold uh, slider will determine just how different the neighboring pixels will have to be before uh, Photoshop will consider it to be an edge. And usually the uh, smaller the threshold the more sharpening effect that you'll have. Now, one technique that I use myself is to increase the uh, the amount slider to the to the uh, to the 500 percent level, and that way it'll give me a good idea of what kind of effect I'm having. And then I can go ahead and play with the radius slider and adjust the threshold if needed. So in this case, I'm going to start with uh, a point, uh, let's say a point six, and we'll have a look at our image. We'll see whether we start seeing some halos, white halos develop. Um, you can see here that this is actually over sharpened. I'm going to go ahead and decrease the radius. Let's try 0.4. Not really seeing any white halos. And if I have a look at my main image here, it looks quite acceptable as a result. I'm going to click OK. So here we see the smart filter that's been created in our layer palette. And here we can go back and easily edit our filter uh, at a later time of our choosing. And one final uh, trick that I'm going to show here, because uh, f uh, the unsharp mask tends to lighten and darken many pixels, there does uh, tend to have a, a small uh, a color shift that can happen in your images. So I'm going to go ahead and double click this icon here right next to the unsharp mask. And I'm actually going, in, going into the blending options and we'll change this to luminosity. And I find that what happens is that uh, in this case, the uh, Photoshop will only affect the lightness of the pixels and not the colors of the pixels. I'm going to click OK. And here we can see the result of our unsharp mask. And uh, I hope uh, these tips and tricks will help you guys in your workflow.